This gorgeous landscape doesn't require a drop of water. That's because it is made entirely of fake plants. New tonight, Tendons reporter Kristen Kehoe shows how you can fight the drought and keep that lush look. These little ferns are plastic. Mark Butcher made plants his business plan five years ago when he opened Silk, the art of artificial. This is the most realistic artificial bougainvillea that they make. And I sell this more than any flower in the store. Butcher's small business is getting a boost from the drought. People are taking out their real things and putting in a lot more artificial. He recently created this tropical paradise in Rancho Santa Fe with a price tag of $30,000. But not everyone needs to spend that much to save water and maintain a lush look. Most medium and large plants cost between $75 and $500. They'll last about five years. What are you doing with this one? This is going right above a big wall. So it's, you're going to look above uh, the driveway, and there's going to be four of these all along the driveway. And no one would know driving by that it's not real. No, no. It Even looks, up close, right. it's hard to tell. Going artificial starts by visiting the showroom and then getting an estimate and picking your plants. From there, you can get them professionally installed, but it's important to protect them from the fading effects of the sun. If you don't want to pay $75 an hour for installation, you can honestly just stick these right in a pot or in the ground. You won't need a landscaper because the only maintenance is hosing the dust off from time to time. But here's the biggest perk so of plastic plants. This. And this will never die. In Linda Vista, Kristen Keough, 10 News. All right, we called around to some San Diego flower shops, the kinds with the real plants, and they told uh, 10 News that people are spending less right now, but they're getting steady business from shoppers looking to switch to those drought-tolerant plants.